The one thing that we have really tried to make is that Joel feels like home. So that when you come in, we have a lounge area, you know, so that people have that sense of belonging. The whole purpose is to stabilise people. So we will be taking people that are actively drinking and taking drugs. And the idea will be that we stabilise them to a point where they can then go on and live successfully, independently, manage tenancies, maybe go on to training, education, employment, and live a really fulfilling life. Um, so with the phases of Joel initially, um, somebody would come in and we'd be looking at having them in for breakfast and dinner and just getting used to being part of a community and getting used to having a routine again. Um, and one of the core concepts of Joel is going to be around food and giving people wholesome food that can really nourish their bodies and help them physically along that journey of recovery. Um, so meal times are going to be very important here. So one of the core elements as well will also be about doing cleaning and housekeeping. So we have time allocated in the morning after breakfast where we're going to put some music on, hopefully get everybody motivated, maybe a bit of singing whilst everyone's mopping and hoovering. Um, again, teaching life skills to people um, that they can carry forward with them into their lives. Um, but also trying to make it fun and again taking responsibility of the whole um, environment around them and looking after it and that real sense of belonging. Uh, then we would be looking through doing one-to-one -one work with people to try and get them to then progress onto the second phase which would be more about doing sort of group activities um, and we want to have things on the timetable that are led by the residents that are living here. So talking to people about what inspires them, what lights them up and whatever that might be, seeing if we can get people in um, to facilitate that or if we can find ways of facilitating that ourselves and um, so that they get that real sense of achieving something and doing something that they really enjoy, which is away from any of the other things that might have been holding them back in the past. When somebody comes to us, a lot of their time would be taken up either thinking about alcohol or drugs or how they're gonna get the money to get alcohol and drugs, going to get the drugs and alcohol, and then also using them you know, all of their energy goes into that. Whereas at Joel, we're trying to look at the more holistic side of it. So when they're doing these group activities, that they're actually engaging in some positive activities, but they're also then spending that time away from the things that we want them to move away from within their recovery journey. So our ethos and our tagline is leaving the light on. Um, it was inspired by a song that came on the radio as I was driving home on my first day. Um, and the song is somebody singing about a friend and not wanting to lose another friend to addictions. So the light is that guiding light for people, for people that may have lost their way or in their eyes made mistakes in life and that we will be that guiding light for people um, and that we will be a place of safety um, and a place where people can feel at grace and that the light will always be on. So no matter where you are, no matter what's happened in your life, that that light will always be there. And part of our ethos with the light always being on is that even if you've come to Joel and at that point it wasn't the right time for you, that the light will always be on. We will always be here and we will always be open to having a discussion with you about coming back because we always want to be that place of safety and that beacon to people. So one of the things um, with the vestry flat and moving on to phase four is that we're very much hoping that those people will become Joel champions and that they will then be coming over to the main building at Joel and doing peer support work with people that are just starting their journey here at Joel. 
Um, we really want to get that sense of community um, and that feeling that we are all together. Part of that will be around dinner times and sitting around the table at dinner like you would at home with a family, someone setting the table, someone helping out cooking with the dinner with the member of staff. Um, we're going to get people shopping together as well um, so that we get that real sense of community. Um, we're also hoping, maybe with the help of some volunteers, to have some day trips out. Um, again, we really want to be talking to the residents and we really want to be person-led. So if we have somebody here that's maybe interested in history, we could go to Hampton Court Palace. You know, if we've got somebody here that really is interested in nature and walking, maybe we could go out to Richmond Park. Um, so we really want to get that sense of community of us all doing things together, but also inspiring people and being person-led as to what we actually put on the timetable and what we are actually offering people. For me, I love the vision of what jail can be and the hope that it can offer people um, and offer to people that historically may not have had this opportunity or because of their circumstances haven't been able to really engage in a recovery journey and hopefully Joel can be that place to offer that safe place for people to go on that journey of recovery and that we can really support people to get where they want to be.